Hey everybody, so uh, hopefully uh, in this video I will clear up how to set up a uh, vector file in Figma for the laser cutter. So um, what I've done, I already have this basic template. Remember to use the template because it is the size of the laser cutter. Uh, and I've already gone ahead and created something. Uh, and if we look at it, it's an inch tall by maybe like six inches wide. If you did the conversion from pixels to inches using 72 DPI. Um, and I have created uh, our three processes. So I have this object that I want to cut out of material. Let's say it's going to be cardboard. It's going to be an ear saver that goes behind a mask. I have some text that I actually want to engrave. And then I'm throwing these uh, emojis in here um, just because I want to see if I can get them to show up. And they're going to be my raster. So again, um, these two processes, the outline of the shape and the text, we're following the outline. Um, of the vector with uh, this uh, image, I guess is what we can call it right now, even though it says it's text. Um, that's going to be uh, a pixel image that gets blasted in grayscale. So um, we're, we're blasting an area rather than following a line. So um, to get on with this, um, what we need to do is uh, start to create some layers. So um, I already have my union right here. I'm just going to group it real quick. That's just the easiest way to create a layer. And I'm going to rename it cut. Now, um, it's just to differentiate between the layers, make it easier for us as we're looking at files to, to make things right. Um, so I don't need a fill. I'm going to turn that off. And underneath of stroke, all I need to do is select laser cut and make sure that my line weight uh, is 0.1. So you'll see a red outline around your object that you want to cut out. Um, that is all you have to do with cut lines. With this text, I've already gone ahead and right-clicked and flattened it, or Command-E. Um, that's so it's an outline. It's not text that's editable anymore. I'm going to, again, make a group, so Command-G. And I'm going to call it Engrave, because, again, we're just trying to make it so it's easy for someone else to read our document. I'm going to turn off the fill, and underneath of Stroke, I'm going to select Laser Engrave, making sure that um, the line weight, again, is 0.1. Um, Finally, um, with this text, if I were to flatten this, I don't think it's going to work. It's going to go black, which I don't like that. I'm just going to hope that this works out. If I wanted to, say, just have um, a vector that I ended up uh, rastering, um, all you need to do is draw that vector in there, place it wherever you feel like it needs to be, and then the fill, same deal, hit those four dots, and then you can choose the level of rastering. For right now, for when we want to make a file get cut real quick, um, just 100% raster is the way to go. Um, it takes a little bit longer to do all the different grayscale stuff, especially when they're vectors, not images. So we have that. These two, if I group them, they're going to be my raster. And then finally what I'm going to do, because we're going to be moving this onto a different document eventually um, with everybody's stuff together, I'm going to group all of these selections together. So I could have just selected them and hit G, and then I'm going to call this... Um, if I rename it, uh, Mr. K's Ear Saver. Um, and what's nice, once everything's grouped, um, you can go in and you can see all your different layers. It's critical that at the end of the day, the things are grouped because down here in the bottom right, when we go to export stuff as an SVG um, for the laser cutter, um, we want to export that whole group together. If they're not grouped together, um, you'll get different SVGs and it's a whole... Uh, mess to get that all back together, either in Illustrator or um, another laser application. Um, so that is how you uh, do that final process. Once you have the thing you want to cut, um, that's how you uh, process it so that you can see, hey, what's going to be raster, engrave, and cut. Um, it's all using those four dots uh, from our style guide underneath of either stroke or um, fill. All right, so hopefully that clears some stuff up. Let me know if you have any issues with um, designing stuff, uh, and I'm here to help you out. Take care. Peace.